Hello everyone, how's it going? So I know I said in my second video uh, it would be a guide video, but unfortunately when I was recording the video this morning, um, my, my software, my recording software got all messed up and I couldn't use the video. So, um, and unfortunately the, the guide I'm trying to, uh, to do, I have to wait another 24 hours to do what I'm trying to do. So that's a little bit of hint right there as to what the guide is going to be about. Um, but, but yeah, I still wanted to make a video today, so, um, I'm going to make one. And, uh, in this video, I'm going to go a little more in depth about, uh, all my time playing RuneScape, um, as well as more about my accounts and, you know, my type of play style. Um, and I figure at the end, I'll show you guys kind of my stats as well as, uh, all the quests I have completed, the achievement diaries, uh, and maybe take a look at the bank as well. Um, so, so really just sort of a, an account overview video. And as I'm talking, I'm going to, attempt to, to train construction at the same time. Um, I know my last video was kind of boring. I realized I was literally doing nothing during just standing in that one spot, which is not too enjoyable to watch. Um, it's a little bit weird to try and do stuff as I'm talking, but I'll get there. It'll just take a little bit of practice. Um, but yeah, I want to keep training construction since I'm working on 99. But anyway, let's get right into it. So my time playing RuneScape uh, began back around 2007 to 2008 uh, when I first started playing RuneScape. Uh, well, what is now known as RuneScape 3, but back then, of course, it was just normal old RuneScape. Um, and I played on that account for a really long time and eventually ended up maxing the account. And just to even put it into perspective, um, oh, come on, just to put it in, into perspective, it's usually around 340 million experience when you're maxed, you've maxed your account. And on that account, I have about 750 million experience. So I kept going for quite a long time. Um, but unfortunately, that version of RuneScape, uh, RuneScape 3, is just completely ruined. It's, it's no fun anymore for me personally. Um, and, you know, eventually I just ended up quitting. And I'd say I probably was on a long break for RuneScape, probably for about a year to two years. I had not been playing um, before the release of Old School RuneScape. And then they announced that this was going to be released. Uh, and then, you know, I was really excited to get back to this version of RuneScape. So I started playing RuneScape 3 just to kind of get back into the swing of RuneScape, uh, you know, refresh my memory and everything. And, uh, yeah, then this one eventually was released and I've never been back to RuneScape 3 since, and I probably never will be. And so once this version was released, you know, I played the very first day of release, um, and I was playing all the time. However, I wasn't playing very efficiently and, you know, I wasn't doing one specific thing. I was kind of just all over the place, having a good time, training whatever I wanted. Um, and, and yeah, just, just kind of doing whatever. And it wasn't until about six or so months ago, maybe a little longer that I really started taking this account seriously. And I started putting in, you know, 10 hour days. Um, it's not quite as much now that was before, um, school started to pick up and get really heavy. Now I can't really fit in 10 hours a day. Uh, now it's more realistic for me to fit in about five hours a day, which is still really good. Um, I mean, I was getting a lot done when I was playing for 10 to 12 hours a day. Uh, but yeah, five is still really good. Um, but yeah, back, like I said, back about six months ago is when I realized I really wanted to actually max this account out and start playing seriously and focus on certain things. So yeah, that's a bit of background history. And now I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about my play style. So for my play style, um, I don't really go for 199 at a time, which is typically the more uh, kind of conventional method. 
Um, if you look at my stats, you can see everything's pretty well balanced, right? Mostly in the 90s, um, a few 80s, only 199, which is prayer. I really wanted to get that untrimmed cape. And, you know, it was an expensive buy, so I really just wanted to get it out of the way. Um, but my method of training, my play style is to get uh, base stats. Um, so what I mean by that is, like, uh, for instance, you get everything to level 50 or higher. Then you get everything to level 60 or higher. Then 70 and so on and so on. So right now you can see I'm working on uh, 90 or higher. I'm only four stats different levels away from uh, 90 plus. And uh, once I get, uh, well, sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm almost at 90 plus. However, I am taking a little bit of a break from 90 plus right now just to finish off um, 99 construction. After construction is complete, I will go back to getting 90 plus. Not really sure what skill I'm going to start off with, but we'll figure that out when the time comes. Um, so right, and once I hit 90 plus, that's when I'll really consider myself to be on the road to maxing. Uh, you know, right now I just consider myself to be on the road to 90 plus. Um, and once I hit 90 plus, I'll start training one skill at a time from 90 to 99, and I'll just do it one by one until eventually I max out. And I really can't wait for that, but it is definitely still a bit of a journey away. Uh, you know, it only gets longer and longer from here. Um, yeah, and what, so once I do max this account, I do want to keep playing it all the time. You know, like I said, on the RuneScape 3 account, I went way over max, uh, you know, levels, you know, twice over basically. And that's probably what I plan to do on this account. However, as I mentioned in my previous video, I do plan to make an alternate account um, from scratch, uh, mainly because I know it's going to be really hard for people to watch, you know, content of an account that's already complete, essentially. And it's probably going to be just as hard to create content on an account that's complete, because what else do I really have to show at that point, right? It's, you know, nothing new, no new achievements. Everything is 99, so... Yeah, I definitely will keep playing this account, and I'll probably still make some videos here and there, but I will have a new account by then that I'll start probably trying to max a third account. Uh, I know, a pretty sad life, but I just, what can I say? I love the game, so that's probably what will happen. Um, so, also, aside from stats, I pretty much have all the uh, quests and done like we can see here we can scroll through the only ones i'm missing now so that one and this one these are the two new quests that were just added a few days ago with the um, new release of the kebos lowlands but other than that i have everything done however i am missing some of these uh, little mini quests but i mean that's they're not really that needed right now so i'm not too worried about those it's the same with the achievement diaries you can see um really, really close um, to completing them all. On a, I mean, it looked better when this wasn't here, but this just got added again with the release of Kebos Lowlands. Um, I do have all the requirements, basically, to do all of these uh, diaries, or all these tasks for this diary, and I will do them eventually. Right now, it just kind of feels like a waste of time since I'm so focused on my 99 construction. The only thing I'm missing is 95 Slayer, um, so I will have to get that eventually. Uh, but that'll come. And yeah, with that, I think it's probably a good time to go show you guys the bank video. I'm running out of things to talk about in terms of um, the account and, you know, the overview. So let's go head over to a bank and we'll take a look. Um, I always go to the Farming Guild Bank now. It's my favorite spot to go. Sorry if you guys can hear that dog barking. Uh, I have like a setting set to cancel all background noise out, so hopefully it's working now and you don't hear them, but it's possible you could. So, yeah, as I was saying, I always go to the Farming Guild Bank now. I just love coming and hanging out here. Farming is my favorite skill, and this place is really beautiful looking in my opinion. 
So I always come here. So here we are. This is the bank. Um, it's it's not that crazy expensive right now. Like I'm pretty broke as far as a high level player goes. Um, the big reason why my cash stack is so low currently is because of this. This is where a lot of my cash was invested into 99 uh, construction. However, I can easily make the money back. You know, I usually just go to Vorkath, camp them out for a week, and uh, there's the money back, you know. I, I don't even know if bank tag tabs are available on just like the vanilla client. I haven't used it in so long. I'm currently on um, RuneLight. Uh, RuneLight is a great client. I definitely recommend it to anyone who's serious playing RuneScape all the time. And with these tabs, um, with these tag tabs, you know, you can just simply tag an item and add it to your tag tab. And when you click on it, all the items will just be there. So like for my herb run, you know, I've got all these tagged as herb run. So whatever I need for my herb run, come, it's right there. Rather than me having to go through all the stuff, um, it's just right here. I can go boom, 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 get it all ready to go. Super easy. So yeah, just a quick little thing I wanted to mention if you guys were curious about what these were. But now I'm going to go over my all my bank and all the tabs and kind of explain why I've got everything set up the way I do. So here I've got my weight reducing gear, you know, my marks of grace set up, cash stack at the very top left. It's pretty old school, pretty iconic to always put your cash stack up here, you know, withdraw all but one. Well, that used to be the case until placeholders, but yeah. So first tab is kind of just all like teleportation, um, stuff like that, my achievement gear. Um, yeah, pretty much all just staffs and teleports. I like to have that at my very first tab for easy teleporting uh, right away. Second tab is all my gear. I don't have anything crazy in here, honestly. I barely do combat right now. I'm just so fixated on, you know, my skills, all skilling that I don't want to invest too much money and time into crazy good gear. This is like the bare minimum. I can go and kill Vorkath easily with this setup, and I can do Slayer with my proselyte. You know, just prayer flick the whole time. Set up a cannon, super easy. Uh, eventually down the road, I'll start saving up for end game gear, but that's a ways away. This is normally uh, normally my Slayer tab. All I have left in here right now is just like untradeables and then just these javelin stat shafts. I mean, they're one GP each. Nobody buys them, right? I don't need to sell them. So just kind of collecting a stockpile. Um, a lot of monsters drop these. So they're just kind of sitting here. And here I have my potions and my food. Pretty low on everything. I've got everything nice and organized, you know, in order from four to one. Um, all my common potions I ever use. I don't have a ton right now. Just enough to go do the bare minimum, as I said before. Go kill some Vorkath or whatever I need to do. This is my favorite tab because I, again, I love skilling. This tab consists of all my favorite skilling supplies. Um, you know, all my saplings, seeds. I constantly do firing. Um, we have some construction stuff in here, some hunter stuff. Uh, wood cutting, farming, herbivore, fishing. Pretty much everything is crammed into this tab. Uh, this one has my, this one's pretty bare too. It's pretty empty just because I haven't trained any of these skills in so long, so no point really. But yeah, I got my mining, my smithing, rune crafting, you can see uh, regular crafting, uh, mining, yeah, like I said. And that's pretty much it. You know, prospectors, all that good stuff. And then this kind of tab, everybody has this, you know, just junk, random stuff that kind of has no home in particular, so it all just winds up in here. Um, I know some of you are probably seeing these clue scrolls and just want to, you know, freak out because I'm not doing them, but, uh, I'm just lazy that way. I'll do them eventually. I just can't be bothered right now because I'm so fixed on, you know, completing my stats. And then lastly, just cosmetics. Uh, some people say rares tab. I'm not going to bother with that because these obviously aren't rare, uh, you know, there's billions of these in the game, so, yeah. But everybody's got to have a cool cosmetic tab. Got to get that good fashion skate going. So, yeah, that's a quick look at my bank. Nothing special. Um, pretty minimal. 
like I like to keep it minimal. I don't like to have unnecessary things. I mean, just besides this, but besides this tab, but yeah, um, that's basically it for my bank and my stats and everything. Now, I know this video uh, uh, probably wasn't the most entertaining. You know, I just kind of rambled on the whole time about myself and my account. Um, but there won't be any more ramble videos really going forward um, like these. You know, they'll get better as I go. Um, you know, everything's going to be about guides and progression going forward. You know, tomorrow I'm going to release that guide video that I intended to release today. Uh, which I'm pretty excited about and yeah I know I know it's gonna be a little hard to bear through initially until I get better at this but I really do appreciate everyone who sticks around uh, and supports me in making my videos and watching me become better along the way and as I said yesterday I'm gonna try my best to release a video every one or two days so there will never be any lack of content on my channel uh, and I'm, I'm going to try and go back and forth between, uh, like I said, the, the progression videos as well as the guides. And I've also decided to do some loot videos. So that consists of, you know, loot from monsters, bosses, whatever. And um, I'm actually currently in the process of saving up uh, 500 herb boxes, uh, which you get from the Nightmare Zone. Um, I'm a bit, I'm like halfway there now. So I should have all 500 of them collected in about 20 days. Um, so yeah, in 20 days, expect to see that. I'm really excited, but of course there'll be videos every day leading up to that point. Uh, yeah. And that's all for today. Um, at the end of the video, uh, I appreciate you guys all for watching. If you stuck around this long, uh, you know, leave a comment, give me some feedback. It's all appreciated. Uh, thank you for watching and, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.